What's up everybody, Space Monkey 007, the bloodthirsty guy, back with another weapon blueprint video for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Now, as you can see the title of today's video, it is the Carbonized Black Cell Weapon Blueprint. We've already made a video about the regular Carbonized Weapon Blueprint, and uh, this is a blueprint for the Baz B Battle Rifle. I think I'm saying it wrong, but it's B-A-S-B. So it's a battle rifle, and uh, this thing's actually very cool looking. Of course, it's a black cell version, so it's going to have like tracers and whatever crazy effects. But this weapon's got different attachments than the regular carbonized weapon blueprint, so I had to make a separate video for this one. And this one, we have a free for all victory. Those of you that are unfamiliar with the weapon blueprint challenge here on the channel, the challenge is playing with these weapon blueprints without changing the attachments they come with. I either get a bloodthirsty montage or win a free for all, and cosmetically I keep these weapon blueprints exactly the way that they are. If I was to change attachments for these weapon blueprints, then cosmetically it would change the way that the weapon works. And uh, that's why I don't do that. So as you see there, we have the tracers on this weapon blueprint. I believe all the Black Cell weapon blueprints are going to have that blood tracer type of uh, animation going on. But it's a really cool weapon blueprint. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. It's a free-for-all victory. Don't forget to smash the like button on your way out. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe will help you keep up with everything going on here on the channel. Space Monkey TV. Free-for-all gameplay from other Call of Duty games. Fortnite gameplay. Uh, the weapon blueprint videos like this one and uh, all kinds of other crazy stuff you never really know what I'm gonna post actually so uh, subscribe will help you keep up with all of that going on I'm gonna have a separate video for every weapon blueprint you unlock in the season one battle pass as well so if you want to keep up with that subscribing will help you keep up with that as well and uh, Shout out to the bloodthirsty community. That is what I call all my subscribers, which is actually growing now. For some, it's crazy, but it's definitely appreciated. Um, thank you again for showing some love to this channel, and um, once again, thank you to the bloodthirsty community because that is what this channel runs off of: bloodthirsties and a community of people that like to enjoy watching them happen in front of their very eyes. <laughs> or be a everybody's got a bloodthirsty guy or woman. And uh, I think I said that wrong. But, you know, everybody gets bloodthirsty on playing Call of Duty games. And why not make a channel that circles around bloodthirsties? So anyway, I'm not going to yap any much longer. I'm going to let y'all enjoy what you see going on in the background. That's me playing on Scrapyard with the Carbonized Black Cell Weapon Blueprint. So I hope y'all enjoy the video. Until next time, this is Space Mode 007, the bloodthirsty guy. Peace. Every time I come up in this thing, this, this airplane, man, this thing is like, I don't know why, but to me, this is like my favorite. It's one of my favorite spots on uh, Scrapyard. I got somebody coming. I guess not. And I kind of, I kind of like this black cell weapon blueprint than I like the uh, regular carbonized weapon blueprint. I, I think it's maybe the attachments. I don't know, but it seems like it was a little more difficult to get kills with the regular carbonized weapon blueprint versus this one. Maybe say I'm being weird and it's all in my head, and it just depends on the lobby or how you're playing. Maybe you're right, and maybe my gameplay was absolutely horrible. Uh, that is why I didn't do very good with that weapon blueprint. But this year around this season that we've got going on right now, all the weapons in Season 1 Battle Pass seem like they've made them a little more difficult to use. And, uh, yeah, there's that. But that's, that's the whole purpose of doing the Bloodthirsty thing. It's a challenge. And uh, a lot of people don't understand what all goes into trying to get a bloodthirsty with a weapon blueprint that has horrible attachments and you've got a reputation to uphold of getting bloodthirsty and you're gonna try to get a bloodthirsty with this little pea shooter and uh, it's crazy when you actually able to pull through and get bloodthirsties and make a video 
of a whole bunch of bloodthirsties with that weapon. It's crazy. It's like the new launcher in the game. The uh, Stormbreaker or whatever it's called. I am not sure if I'm going to give that one a try or not. Uh, it looks like you don't really get a lot of damage from it. The only way to probably kill somebody with that thing is play on hardcore mode. Uh, get like an assist damage on them and then finish it off with a couple of shots from that thing maybe. I don't know. This game here, it just seems like, I don't know, maybe it's the mood I'm in right now, or the lobby, but, like, I just can't seem to figure out where I'm at right now. And there's our nice bloodthirsty. Solid copy, counter UAV, running signals interference. Man, I'm not a big fan of the optic this thing comes with. I didn't like the optic on the regular the uh, regular carbonized blueprint. Okay, we got like the sight of death going on. I do, by the way, hope everybody's got a uh, had a great New Year's. I wish individually every one of you out there anybody who comes across this video or anything i just wish the best to everybody everybody has a great year and uh if, if you have some drama going on through this year i just wish i just hope the best for you and that there's a way that you're able to deal with it in an efficient efficient way and uh, take care of it you know what i mean Dude, sitting in the corner. That's the one thing I'm coming across in this game, man. There's people on this game that, like, they'll camp in the same room and not shoot each other as long as they, like, don't pass this border. Like, they make an imaginary line. It's like, don't pass that line, I won't shoot at you. So I'm getting killed by, like, I don't know, man. Maybe it's in my head, but it seems like some of these games I'm playing... Like the last game I was playing, it seemed like two people were working together. And anybody that was coming in that, that area of the map, they were killing them. And then towards the end of the game, then they finally just started to act like start trying to kill each other. Which is crazy. It's basically like reassuring that you're going to have a, a higher score. That's really not, it's not really how you're supposed to play free-for-all. You're not supposed to work with another, another person. There's no team on free-for-all. It's basically straight up boosting. It's like when you're on Warzone and you're like, you're like, you got like two other people alive on Warzone. And they decide to uh, team up against you and kill you and then kill each other. It's the same thing. It's like aggravating, man. But that's just part of the game, you know. Hostile cluster mine detected. And we are chopping away at that scoreboard. Pretty much hanging out in this little hangout area. Oh, he was able to pick me off. Wow. He had that, that whole place rigged to blow, man. If I had a complaint about this game, it would be the spawns. You know, when you spawn up, you shouldn't spawn up dying. You know what I mean? That's aggravating. You spawn up and you're automatically being shot at while you're spawning in the game. Before you can even have a reaction to push the button, you're, you're dead and you're spawning up somewhere else and getting shot. So yeah, I, I would. Uh, I think they need to update the 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 way people spawn up in this game because you have people to be doing good in a game. You'll be on a 15 kill streak and then a dude will spawn up right behind you. And then wipe you clean. Here with a shotgun. 
He's telling me I'm not allowed up in. He's like, I'm gonna kill you every time you come up in here. Well. You shouldn't have peeked. Wow. That was crazy. Come on, man. Why are y'all laying on the ground? I mean, I guess I can't complain. I mean, if you can use it in the game, use it in the game. It's just, you know... I guess if that's your idea of playing... Shotgun man again. I tell you, man, the shotguns on this game are vicious. And if you didn't learn the first time when I killed you there, maybe you'll learn the second. Where's this guy? Well, I was hoping I'd be able to take him down at least, man. That dude there was sitting up there for a minute. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the gameplay. Once again, this is Space Monkey 007, the Bloodthirsty Guy. And see y'all again on the next video. Peace.